All right, looks like we are live. We got anyone in the chat yet? No, no, no one in the chat yet. I wonder if I should get started without a chat. Can't get started without a chat. Ah, there we go. Sh Cheyenne Jones, she is in the chat. That means we can probably start. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I should, maybe I should uh, pester the Discord. Oh, Katrinas! Katrinas! Don't think I didn't see what you did, Katrinas. I know of your foul deeds. I, I have witnessed firsthand what you did. I mean, I can't actually read. I can't, I can't properly chastise you because I can't even see the. Uh... Okay, gotta go to the Discord. Dream time, baby! There we go. And now back to it. Now to properly chastise you. Back to the weave game. Hello, water. Hello, tactician Arya. Hello, Isaiah. I haven't beat it. I gotta beat this game, you guys. I I'm so close to getting Jared Coon. I I mean, once I once I finish this game, yeah, we'll go back to trying all sorts of things. But right now, we gotta get Jared Coon. Hello, Megan. Hello, Emerald. War crappy Nintendo parody. I guess it, yeah, yeah. Oh, what was it? It was like the Gintendo. There was Nario and Furby. I don't know. I don't know. Got hooked on this channel but because of the Fire Emblem. And you're... And now I'm watching a weeb. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, hate to break it to you. I don't think this is a weeaboo game. I don't think this is uh, otaku or whatever. This... this I mean, it might look at it, but, I mean, seeing as how the people that yeah, date in it are me members of normal boots, that's... That's... That's that. <laughs> oh, uh, where I have this does not work. I am blocking the bottom half of the screen. You can't have that, because that's where the words are. Alright. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's get going. After a few rounds, the official tournament started. People played one-on-one -on -one matches against each other slowly... Thing out the competition over time. Yes, Chet. Uh, Chet is still my favorite game. Uh, no, uh, Fire Emblem Awakening is my favorite game. Top ten weaves of 2017. Chet. Woo. Human Gamer Station at number one. Yes. I. I mean. I don't know. I don't know how weeb I am. <laughs> oh, the Gintendo 4DS. Turby. Stop. I, it's not Stomp Bros, it's Stomp Sisters. Uh, Alright, let's... Uh, b -b -b Mine went before me and was rather unfairly paired against Jared. Every blow he doled to her was in her mind. Some sort of actual physical contact. At least, judging by the way she shivered while... When she was... When it was... When she was... Ah, well, <laughs> I gotta get that sentence right. Judging by the way she shivered when she was hit, it was. Okay, there we go. Nailed it. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I give out the mod things like crazy on my 24-hour streams. You know, I'm just up for way too long. I'm like, you get a mod, you get a mod, everybody gets a mod! Except sour meat, because Alan killed him. Does it sound like you care? Okay, but uh, surprisingly, she died almost immediately. I was the last person in the set to go against PBG. The others chuckled as, as we were past the controllers. <laughs> don't worry, Hana. Don't worry, Hana. PBG is the easiest of us all. You're bound to beat him. See, is this is this Weeaboo or is this is this you know that 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 patch right there is like this is YouTube. Is Scott gonna be on it? <laughs> Top ten anime deaths. Scott in that uh, tragic anime, um, the the top ten lawn for no, wait axes in video games. Aw, oh, come on guys, don't worry, Hana, I'll go easy on you. I nod as PBG picked up the the most level playing field, a small platform floating out in space. The match started and PBG graciously held his player still. Go ahead and test out your moves. Aw, oh, that's real nice of you, PBG. Yeah, real nice. I tested my moves, and while I was, and while doing so, my hand brushed against the yellow <coughs> stick. Tur 
Turby did a menacing low kick, and my eyebrows raised. That looked... powerful. Ready to go? I think so. PBG charged across the screen at me, and when he came close enough to hit, I punched the yellow stick in his direction. He flew across the screen. My mouth fell open. PBG grit his teeth. I see it how it is. No more Mr. My nice Guy, then! I partially doubted that PBG had a non-nice bone in his body, but the match had begun. It was a long battle. A surprisingly long battle. Oh, is Sour Meat here? Sour Meat! Sour Meat! He is... He is the hero that we all deserved. Is he is he here? I don't see anything written by him. Maybe maybe it's just a keep in mind. Wait, wait, wait. We seemed evenly matched right up until the very end when I smashed him off the screen with Turby's hammer. What? What? I set the controller down quietly, not particularly happy about having crushed PBG in my second ever match of Stomp. PBG nodded solemnly. I guess I lost then. Darn, Hannah! That was that was some natural born talent right there. Look at his sparkling blue eyes. Wait, does Jared actually have blue eyes? We got we got we got to investigate this. I can't I can't not know if the real pro Jared has blue eyes. Come on, come on, load up Google. You're making me you're making me look like a fool. I'm perfectly capable of that on my own. I don't need your help right here. Top ten anime betrayals. Aria against Heen Game Station. Wait, wait, what about in, uh, Kirby in the house? No, not Kirby in the house. Cory in the house. When, uh, that, that guy who was his friend asked that one girl out. I gotta see if Pro Jared does indeed have blue eyes, or if Asagao Academy is once again taking some very, very, uh, liberal... Wait, 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 wait. You type in Pro Jared. Pro Jared does log. It's a TV program? Oh, shoot! I want to watch that. That sounds awesome. Oh, it's a it's children television series because of how many times he said the f word. Of course. All right, let's let's check this out. Go on. Oh yeah, I suppose those are rather blue eyes. Not as dreamy and, and perfect as they are here, but hey, blue eyes. What do you know? I I I don't really think so. Anyway, the next matchup is Shane versus Paul. BBG remained quiet for a while after that. It wasn't until the third round that he joined in again, cheering with the rest of the guys. My match rolled around, but this time was against Jared, and this time I lost in only a few minutes. I set the controller down again, happy I no longer have responsibility over life and death of inanimate pixels. I don't think they're inanimate. I think the pixels, the group of pixels are animated, in fact, in fact, that's the only thing they are. They are animation. But, okay, I'm, they, they don't want me to hyper-analyze the use of their words here. But I'm doing it for some reason. As I did so, I saw Paul lean in and whisper something to Shane, whose eyes flew open and then his face shut down. <laughs> over my dead body. Their eyes slid to me and then looked away. Oh, maybe he suggested that they put me in the normal boots club because I was able to dethrone Pbg. They were talking about me, weren't they? I scooted over to my, feeling more comfortable near her than any of those guys. Play actual Smash? I, 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 I could. But, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get Jared Coon Emerald. You know that. You know that I need Jen Jared Coon and Norian Scum's here. Sup? We cheered for Jared right up until the very end. He lost to a supernaturally agile Shane, who was seemingly fueled by rage of a thousand demonic toddlers. Everyone, that was a great round. It looks like we're in better shape than last year. Well, all of us except PBG. That was uncalled for. Totally deserved, though. Anyway. I tried to get out of... I'm tired, so get out of my room, please. He grinned broadly, not finding anything wrong with how summarily he dismissed us. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe once I finally finish this game, I'll play Smash. At, yeah, even even with you guys, I'll let you guys, uh, fa uh Captain Falcon, Meteor Mash me into oblivion. But for right now, right now, I think the word's right here. Is the word right here? No. We gotta, we gotta. I mean, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Come on. There. That's the reason we're doing this right now. We're not doing Smash. We can't. My and I gathered our things and left the rooms with the others, who, laughing and joking, dispersed in all other directions. Edgelord 69. Together we shuffled home. We fell through the doorway, exhausted, with barely enough energy to change into our PJs. My leaped onto her bed, happy with a sigh. Oh, Hana, I'm so glad you came to Oscar. As if this couldn't have happened without me here. My shoved her face into her pillow and emitted a muffled reply. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, go go to the other one. Just add water. I'm not playing a game that anyone wants to play except me. I'm playing this stupid weeaboo game. If they are playing a game that you know you actually want to see, unlike this, <clears throat> then have at you. In fact, go ahead and post their post their. Oh wait, I haven't made you a mod yet. Yeah, go. I was gonna say post their stream link and let other people go enjoy that. You know, but right now, I gotta I gotta play Asagao Academy. Oh, I'm not leaving. <laughs> you can't be rid- I can't get rid of you that easily, darn. Oh, steady games! Clap and emoji. Oh, that's not a clapping emoji, it's waving. You can't hear me waving, but I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever you say. I fell into my bed, starting the rungs that kept my and her mattress from collapsing onto me and smothering me to death in the night. Wow, that's a- Okay. <laughs> that was- Really fun. Video games are fun, Mai. Really? She shuffled around on the top of her bed. <clears throat> I mean, I thought it was okay. It was passable. Don't know if I'd call it super fun or anything. No? I loved it. She chuckled. Seems like you've found your calling. <laughs> I'm sure I have. <clears throat> Above me, Mai yawned. Let's go to sleep. I'm exhausted. Wait, did she say something there? Let's just go to sleep. I'm exhausted. Smiling, I got up and turned on our light. Don't let the frostbite bite. Too many mods. You're right. I'm going to just start banning people at random until we only have the amount of mods that Katrinas wants. <laughs> How is Emerald Ninja not a mod yet? That's a... I know Katrina just said that we don't have enough... Uh, we have too many mods, but... You know. <laughs> and the warmth stretched across Asgau. I itched to go outside. With Satch's book in hand, I took to the streets. No, you can't be an edgelord. You can't be a mod yet, edgelord69. You gotta put in more time. You gotta serve your nickel in the, uh... In the, um, YouTube... In, in my stream, after you go long enough, you can you can you can become one, but not, but not <laughs> on your tenth comment on my first on your first stream of mine that you've attended. That's that won't work. <laughs> I kept walking until I came to the soccer field. There was a practice game being held, and PBG and his friend Jeff were running across the field, being a skirmish. The bleachers were almost completely empty. Students scattered. The shiny metal seats. And there were more new room for me. In one swift motion, practiced many times over my life, I sat down, spun my backpack onto the seat next to me, and pulled out my book. I was nearly done with it, and I wanted to see if I could finish today. It was a few days ago, so I was under pressure. At a pause in reading my book, I looked up to watch PBG on the field. A shock of color at the at the base of the bleachers caught my, caught my eye. It looked like some kind of metallic candy wrapper, and a pang of annoyance struck me. There was trash 
There was a trash can nearby. Why litter? I I agree with Hana. I hate litter bugs. Hate them. What's what's the lore of Asagawa Academy, or, or are you going on something else? Grab the lore. I think I have the lore. Candy. Yeah, I got the lore. I think I gotta edit it though, uh, cause I think Alan he. Okay, we got <clears throat> Human Game Station stream lore. Chet is a princess. Megan Anderson is a bow staff wielding bodyguard of him. Stan 66 is the ultimate evil. Fixit Felix is God. Chet had made an enemy of the working man. And Yoshi's named place. Grace the tactician is the stream tactician. Dual tactician, now known as Aria tactician, is the stream's geneticist and historian. Nicole is the stream ice ghost. Haven't seen her in a while. Husbandito Wars, Small Shells versus Table Coon. Common Redacted is the best waifu. And I don't... Yeah, the other two things I don't fully agree with. Stream... You, stream should be something I would remember later. But yes, there. That, that is the masterful stream lore that I've written down. You are living a meme. You should have asked them the stream lore instead of me just pulling out a book and start reading it. But as I jumped down the steps of the bleacher and nearly slid off of one, it became clear that it wasn't trash. The colors changed at the, ang the angle of the light did. It was an iridescent purple figurine. Itty bitty. And a kitty. Was it Gerard's? He was the only person I knew who collected them. I held it up to the nearest student who shook his head. I was free for a while. Gerard was really into the itty bitty kitty scene, so if it wasn't his, he'd probably know who it belonged to. One problem, I had no idea where his room was. Conveniently at that moment, BBG ran off the field to get a drink. I approached him, holding the kitty in front of myself like a talisman. Hey, hey PBG, do you know where Gerard's room number? I think he dropped this. I held the kitty up and it glimmered in the sun, much like PBG just now. His action, with all that physical activity. Oh, Gerard was just here. It has to be his. I asked him to bring me, I asked him to bring me, I asked him to bring me my goalie gloves. Oh, he, okay, okay, okay. He wasn't ready to take McJones' place today. His room was right across from mine. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Hey. Hurry up. Hurry up, PBG. PBG groaned. It wasn't much of a break. See ya. Gotta go. Good luck. He took a huge gulp from his water bottle and then poured the rest on his head and jumped back into the game. His teammates patted him on the back as he rejoined them. I placed the itty bitty kitty into my uniforms, Lily Putin, Lily, Lily Putin, man, pocket, and headed to Bluebell. As I entered the Blue Bell house, a passing boy frowned at me. Was I even allowed to be in here by myself? I shook my head. There was no time to be afraid. Today, I had a mission. Just as PBG said, there was a door right across from his room. I knocked on it and finished and fished the itty bitty kitty from my pocket. Shane answered the door. Not at all the police to see me. Um, uh, uh, hi Shane. How, how are you? He was Gerard's roommate. Oh, why was he Gerard's roommate? <laughs> I tried to laugh to defuse the situation, but it was weak. I felt like I was only making things worse. I didn't know what was on Shane's mind. He looked at the itty bitty kitty in my fi figurine in my hands. Gerard should be back in a few minutes. Oh, oh okay. I'll, I'll just wait in the common room. When he gets back, you can tell him and try and find me. I could read downstairs. Even if Jared took an hour to get back, I could keep myself occupied. Shane sighed and leaned against the doorframe. I could tell him, but it would be much easier if you waited me here. Or, or, I could leave it with Shane, and then Shane could just give it to him when he shows up, you know? You know what I'm saying? Jack of Spades is here? Sweet. You found him not long ago, and you really like his contact. Oh, yeah, you left that really, really nice comment on my... One of my uh, Wednesdays. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate that, J Jack. Glad to see that you're, you're here. 
I, I'm sorry that we have low, low quality Weeboo tier uh, streams, but I do put work into my other videos, so that's what we're that's what we're doing. <laughs> he put his hand out, gesturing me inside. Uh, all right, th thanks. I entered the room and stood smack in the middle of it. Shane plopped into a chair <clears throat> in front of what must have been his desk. I sat down and assumed what <clears throat> to be Gerard's chair on the opposite side. <clears throat> oh, I, lo I love the I love this symmetry. <laughs> there's there's a line in the sand. You do not cross each other's <laughs> land. Oh, whoa, the emojis. <laughs> okay, Shane spilled around and started to, to click something on his laptop, seeing. He wasn't want, wasn't much for salsa. I turned to observing the room. Their room was well de decorated, one could say. There was a lot of itty bitty kitties arranged neatly along its brethren of similar design. Every empty space not filled with school related objects was covered by the pads of the cute little cat, or at least a sealed box of one. Even parts of Shane's shelves had itty bitty kitty on the. I'll, I'll see Shane. You've lied to me, text. I almost had to admit, it was kind of endearing. Something about the dedication about the dedication required was sweet. Hey. He probably showed up and Alan killed him. Do you collect itty bitty kitties too? Not really. They're drawards. But I don't mind. I see. It's kind of niche. I'm surprised you're into them. Oh, oh no, I, I don't collect them. I just found this one on the side of the field. PBG said said Gerard was there earlier, so I came to find out <coughs> whether it was his. My hastiness to, to, to disown the figure did not go unnoticed by Shane, who made a face at me. If it's not Gerard's, he'll probably know whose it is, right? Yeah, I understand this. This is a rather boring game, but I mean, come on, Jared Coon. It probably is Gerard's. I smoothed my thumb over the plastic kitty absent-mindedly. Shane returned to whatever he was doing online, and I conversed with the figure in my hand. <coughs> Who's a pretty kitty? Who's a pretty kitty? You are. Gerard came back, back about two minutes later. Hey, Shane, and Hannah. He held two coffee in his hand, suddenly turned pink. And what are you two doing here? Alone. Together. Alone. <laughs> We're not doing anything. Hannah was looking for you. Really? Really? How can I help you, Hannah? He gave a coffee to Shane and offered the other one to me. Here, take mine. I would have gotten you one too if I knew you were here. That's really nice of you, but no thanks. I just came to see if this was yours. For what felt... <clears throat> like the tenth time in the last half hour, I displayed the itty bitty kitty. Oh wow! Oh yes! Gerard almost dropped his coffee as he leaped forward. I lost this today. Where did you find it? It was near the field. PBG told me you were there earlier, so I wanted to give it back to you. I handed the figure to Gerard, who looked about ready to kiss it. You're the best. Thank you, Hana. You're the best. You didn't have to do this, but you did. And you know what? I, I, what I would have. I don't know what I would have done without you. <gasps> Jack of Spades! No! What the heck? Oh, Jack, dude! You are so cool! Thank you, man! Oh, wow! Five dollars? That, that's, that's, that's actually uh, a, a lot in, uh, in, to me, because I, I do not have any money making videos full-time. But you, in all of your infinite kindness, saw fit to give me some money? Oh, dude, you... You're you're a true you're a true hero. Yes, we drink to his health. Let's let's get some emojis. I I, I used a combination earlier. Let's see what. Uh, oh yeah yeah, cause it was 420, so I used this one earlier. So yeah, thank you very much. Smoke weed every day. Yeah yeah, you are the man, Jack of Spades. Yes, I can get my ramen this week. You're you're too you're too cool. <laughs> I saved you from buying one of those Sega systems. Oh man, I went to uh. I think it was Safeway earlier this week? No, Best Buy, no, no. Bed Bath & Beyond was selling them. 
and I'm like, oh no, this is this is a crime. These things are a sin against humanity. <laughs> but yeah. So, yes. Thank you very much. Where am I in the game? I think I'm. Uh, I'm still in Act One, but I think I'm about halfway. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure. Well, we'll see. The boring part. Oh, just add water, you, you, <laughs> you silly dog. The whole thing's the boring part. <laughs> Oh, message redacted. Best waifu. <clears throat> it wasn't any trouble at all. It looked pretty rare. Special. It's not as rare as you would think, but it's still very special to me. I'm so glad you were able to find it. I shouldn't have been so careless. Don't beat yourself up about it. What matters is that you have it back now. <laughs> Maybe zip up your pockets? <laughs> Maybe zip up your pockets next time. You bet, I'll take a load of precautions to make sure this never happens again. He placed it directly on <clears throat> on the shelf with the other kitties that had the same iridescent properties. <clears throat> Gerard looked at me a while as I viewed his hard-earned assemblage. Right. Oh, duh. Gerard, you dummy, how rude of you to at least not... At least not introduce you to my collection. Sorry. In this room, I have 247 itty-bitty kitties of every shape and size. The newest set, the Catastrophes. They're a band. They're really popular right now. I traded my rare extras for these the other day. The one you brought back to me is from a set of four that are called the Opale Opalescence. Currently, they're the only shinies. The game was free, but I did give five dollars to the creators. <clears throat> it's been three weeks and he's still after Jared. No, it's just that this is a long game. And so, I mean, I, I, I bet Emerald would be just as, as thrilled as a pixie if I just took the uh, the uh, thing and I just started. Da -da 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 -da. We gotta get through this. Jared can't stand watching it anymore. They were so pretty, my gaze fixated on them. Hey, it's Mickey's Movie Magic! He's the only the hunkiest hunk in Hunkville. I'm just missing the last opalescent. It's a purple one, Princess Pumpernickel. I've tried everywhere, but no one has them in stock. But there's only three copies in the world, so it's not really surprising. Oh, like the blue eyes white dragon? It's more surprising that I managed to get these ones. I thought he said they weren't that rare. I have one of the most complete collections in the world. People think that the, com the kitty's company gives me the newest figurines. But I earn all my itty bitty kitties. I can tell that was a lot of hard work. I can tell it's a lot of hard work. I'm amazed at how much effort you put into this. Jess, here we go. Thanks, and I'll... I just wish I could get that last figuring. I could finish my collection, and the kitties would have all their friends together in one place. See, he's got 247. If he had one more, he'd have 248. I want it to be an even 250. <clears throat> I wish I could help. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Hana. This is my battle to fight. I nodded, then glanced at White Watch. Oh, I should go. I really wanted to finish my, my book today. But if you ever need help... I'm here. I stood up and then waved to the both of them. Bye, Bye Hana. Thanks again. Bye. See ya. Oh, hey, Shane. Shane was half nice. <laughs> Thankfully, I managed to finish my book. It took more time than I expected, though. And by the time I got back to my room, it was dark outside. What's up, people? What's up, RBG broadcaster? When I opened the door to my room, the lights were off. I flicked them on and huddled... And the huddled form of Mai, hugging a stuffed purple bear, appeared on her bed. Hello. I'm back! Mai glanced at me and then buried her face in the bear. Was she sulking? It wasn't like her to be so unenergetic. Um, are you okay? Huh. 
Well, that doesn't sound very okay. Mike glanced at me again. Her face, like, oh, oh, I gotta stop talking. Listen to this. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah, I like, I like this song. <clears throat> you know you can tell me anything. You've helped me out a lot, so it's the least I can do in return, right? Besides, we're friends. My side and then threw her bear on the floor where it lay as if screaming in agony. Ah, help me! It feels like I'm dying! <clears throat> he's not a glass of water. He's just add water. <laughs> don't stop. Keep going. Oh, do oh, don't worry, Emerald Ninja. I wasn't going to stop anytime soon. <laughs> Oh, oh, you don't want the uh, screams of agony. Gotcha. It's not fair. She sighed again. I know it's terrible to think like this, but even though I'm not, even though I'm really happy for you, getting to be friends with those guys is just not fair. Those guys? Who, the Normal Boots Club? It's just that I've been a fan of them for so long, and I love Jared forever, and then you come in out of the blue with your pink hair, and just like that, your friends. She snapped her fingers in front of her face. I did that too, just like that. You can't say just like that without, you know, getting all snappy. <laughs> Thank you, Just Add Water. At least somebody <laughs> appreciates my ability to summon <laughs> the Dark Lord Satan himself. Look, the purple bear was <clears throat> screaming in agony. Did you just want me to go, ah? Nah, nah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta give the proper respect to the purple bear. But I've been here trying this whole time and Jern didn't even know my name. I know I'm being stupid and I feel bad, but it's still my... They're your friends too. It's understandable. Some friend you all. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I gotta try these bottom two out. I already said I felt bad. Why are you making it worse? It's understandable. I didn't know what else to say. Yeah, yeah, well. They're your friends too. Why well, smiled weakly at me? They wouldn't be my friends if it wasn't for you. Oh man, which one should I do? Okay. Oh, uh, we gotta... We gotta, we gotta throw together a straw poll for this. I'm gonna ask you guys. No, no, strawpoll.com. No, wait, wait. <clears throat> what was the top one? I didn't even consider it. They're your friends, too. Uh, I'm leaving it in your guys' highly capable hands. <clears throat> we gotta leave it to you guys. You you guys are the smartest, most capable group of people. And oh, there's my there's my stream right now. Current streams. Your current streams. Wait, streams. You could have more than one stream going. All right, lean on me, guys. What do we say? What? Did I at least get the uh, comment off? Okay, I, I saw it. I don't know why it immediately died, but. We got, we got, we got some results. Let's, we'll leave it open for one minute. Okay, someone's saying something nice. That's, that's, that's good. Hey, Merman. Hey, Jocelyn. You haven't been here long enough for the emotional attachment to the characters. By Alon, you overestimate us. All right, all right. There your friends too is taking the current lead. Some people are Oh wow, ten whole votes? That's a lot. But it looks like you know we need four more or five more votes in any of the other ones. So it looks like uh, I'm gonna have to be humane and nice to my but thank you for your votes, people. Alright, they're your friends too. Hey, don't worry about it. Mace weakly smiled at me. 
They wouldn't be my friends if it wasn't for you. My! I'm going to sleep. I mean, they are. I mean, she sits by me, and I sit by them, and Gerard gives her the cookie too, so. You know, it's. Chet's strings cause World War III. And the middle one is nice too. It's true. It's true. It's true. The other one is just heartless and out of nowhere and completely out of character for Hannah. She would not say that. <clears throat> Tit, why are you doing this to me? Why? Why did I make you a mod? I don't know, Emerald Ninja. It's a it's a video game making you decide. We've already we've already made the option. It's it's done. You don't have to. <laughs> I couldn't be burdened with that choice because I choose the wrong one. Of course, bringing her in close, making her a closer friend, and then stealing Jared from her might be just that more satisfying, you know? <laughs> Hana is meant to be you. I, you know, you say that, but Hana is a timid, shy, little, anxiety-ridden girl. I am not. I am very confident. I'm happy all the time, and just the fact that I have to roleplay as someone who's just so constantly, oh, why doesn't anyone like me? I, 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 can't, I can't relate to that. So I can't imagine her saying, oh, some friend you turned out to be. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Just add water gets it. I'm sorry, too. I said it quietly, but even as the words left my lips, I knew they were a lot- Wait, what did I say? I'm sorry, too? I'm going to sleep. Okay. Chet is not an anxiety-ridden girl. <clears throat> sorry to ruin the, um, the uh, illusion for you, Katrinas. Despite our silent confrontation last night, Mai was peppy as usual the next day, and it didn't seem like there was any reason for me to worry. But that didn't mean I didn't see. Look at that. Look. She's worrying. Worry. I, I, Chet, don't even know what worry is. So I can't really relate to her. But my, I gotta be Hana if I want to get with Jared Coon. So that's, that's the only reason we're playing. Game. All right, the bell rang, glass started, Miss Shizuka wrote origami flowers on the board in an ornate script, and then turned to glare at the class. The flower festival is only a few days away. It's again time to start folding flowers to sell for the school. We do this every year. Guys don't want to hear any... Guys, I don't want to hear any groans. You're free to write me in an essay on the importance of these funds for the school if you'd rather not participate. A few students rolled their eyes, but I smiled. It sounded kind of fun, and I hadn't folded origami in years. I'm handing out practice sheets because I know how bad you guys are at origami, but I'm only going to teach you once, so pay attention! You're sorry? This game is not very good? This game is a masterpiece piece of art and engineering! Actually, I don't think it's even a game. It doesn't have a failure state. And you know, it may not be that good, but I can make an argument that it's the greatest game ever, Emerald Ninja. How many games do you canonically get to date Jared Coon? How many, Emerald Ninja? Come on. Are you even are you are, are you even thinking right now? Okay, she's a good picking up an ornate green paper. As she instructed the class, I realized that these were the most that these were the most basic version of origami flowers. I was already really familiar with them. Well, seeing as how your name is literally Japanese for flower, <laughs> I folded my practice paper with ease while Miss Shizuka roamed the room, helping students who struggled to follow along. If you had to choose between being a millionaire or a Pokemon trainer, which would your starter be? <laughs> um, gosh, um. <clears throat> Evie, Evie. <laughs> uh, these creases, the creases are weak. Kindergartners could do better than this. Heck, my ex could do better than this. I, I'm, I'm thinking about. Ah, is there a Gordon Ramsay meme? I need to see a 
Gordon Ram I need a Come on, if I've got a tab open, we need a Gordon Ramsay meme. Come on, come on. Something is so undercooked. This This pork is so raw that it's still singing a code of a torta! There we go. Got myself a Gordon Ramsay meme. Eevee is the best, as you have a uh, a link riding on an Eevee. Yes, I, I, I bet I bet you do. <clears throat> Sadness passed across Miss Shizuka's face. She turned to the boy next to her and slammed her her hand on his desk. Whoa! What just happened? I I disconnected the. Uh, HDMI cable by slamming my hand on my desk. You need to be better! Be better for everyone's sake! It seemed like quite a few students were having trouble. I went to the front of the class to get some new paper, passing John on, on the way back to my seat. His paper caught my eye. You folded that the wrong way. Your flower is going to be narrow if you keep going. I'll be honest with you, Hana. I have no idea what I'm doing. Help me! He kind of looked like he was about to cry. I knelt by his desk and unfolding and refolding his paper. This looks perfect. You're so good at origami. Did you have to make flowers at your old school too? Yeah, my teacher, Mr. Shelby. He, he had us all fold them. He'd usually disappear for days at a time though. <laughs> Just unlocked Mewtwo and Me Melee. That, that's a good game. Haha, <laughs> FaZe! You're back! Good to see you, bud! Yeah, Jolteon is definitely in my top ten. I can't remember my list that well. I think I think I think it's number two. Haunter should be number one. Yeah, I, I don't know. <clears throat> no, I used to do a lot of origami when I was younger. I guess muscle memory just kicked in. Think so. Really? really? One odd skill to have. Is it? Please. John clasped his hand around my wrist. Stay with me. Help me. Uh. uh Sure, if you need it. Yeah. I knew I could count on you. Thanks, Hannah. You're a goddess. Hey, hey, it's just like you, Katrinas. The modest of the stream. Melee is an actual, really a really good game. You know, I'm surprised that my most recent video, the Kirby one, does not have at least one thumb down. Because I take a savage attack at Melee. I'm like, I'm going to get thumbs downs just for this. But I think it's a bug-ridden mess. Or at least... When you watch the pros play, it's like, wow, they are exploiting the bugs into this to make this an absolutely crazy flippin' game. <clears throat> I spent the entire rest of the class slowly doling out lessons to John and PBG. I offered to help Shane, but he turned away from me, instead watching over John's shoulder. I kept my movements large and exaggerated so he could see it too. It was nice to feel useful. When class was over, I headed back to the dorms with Mai. We had a long day ahead of us, filled with homework and the possible reward of chocolate ice cream, should we finish on time. But before I got far, someone called out my name. Hana. Hana? Jeff knows me? Sweet! <laughs> this is my second favorite YouTuber behind Pro Jared. How come I can't- Where's- Where's the sequel? Normal- Or, uh, Asagao Academy Hidden Block Club. Come on! Is everything okay? Hey, but the normal moots. Club is a meeting after day, and BBG forgot to take his soccer uniform with him. He held up a blue and gold uniform. He won't have much time to change before practice if he doesn't have this, and I have to run down to the field. Can you take it for me? <laughs> well, well, twist my arm, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> hey, it's Country Boy. Uh, it's Country Country Boy Christian. Good to good to see you, bud. The bugs in Amelia annoy you. They serve as a skill cap. Smash 4 takes way too long for anyone to die. Pro Gerard. Not yet, not yet! But we're... We're... We're, we're, we're working on it. Uh... Hinbuck Club, you finally get to date my... Alright. My grabbed the uniform from Jeff. Awesome, thanks! <clears throat> he dashed towards the field. My turn to me. Victory running th through her face. <clears throat> A chance to see Gerard in his element! Come on, Hannah! We have to hurry! We approached the Normal Boots classroom, hearts thumping nervously. 
at least I assume Mize, Mize was, Dragon Mai with this, she was fidgeting like a hummingbird on acid. She was fidgeting like a hummingbird on acid. It was, I do reckon, is that, is that a turn of phrase? Fidgeting like a hummingbird on acid? Oh yeah, Honage is my number one. I'm a flippin' idiot. Yeah. Hans is number three. A, 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 a ghost steel sword. How how did I forget how much I love my favorite Pokemon? Thanks thanks for reminding me, Megan. I I forgot that. Who is Jeff? He, Jeff is is Space Hamster. Yeah. The only videos I haven't watched on Pro Jared's videos are his guide to Monster Hunter because I don't like fonts or. Oh, Caitlyn streaming a Phoenix Wright game? That'd be interesting. <clears throat> we stepped up at the door and were about to knock when I heard my name on someone's lips. Hannah. I froze and turned to my. Her face was lit and she pressed a finger to her lips. She leans in close to the door and I followed suit. Dude, I, th I think it's fine. What do you think she's going to do to us? You need to call down. But it's so pink. No hair should be like that. People can't choose their hair, Shane. It's really a poor reason to judge someone. I know, but I don't trust pink people with pink hair. You know there's more to the color to it than just the color. Don't deny it. Weird things always happen around people with pink hair. Yeah, they're protagonists of shows, dude. Sure, but they're not dangerous, <clears throat> aren't they? My heart sank. I stepped away from the door, unwilling to hear more. Wait, no, no. That's not true. The girl from Lazy Town, nothing bad happened with her around. Well, I guess Roddy, Robbie Rotten was always around, so that happened. But she brought a food. She brought an apple to Spartacus in the song. You guys know the song, right? <laughs> hey, you don't say that people with pink hair sucks. Not while Merman's around here. Protag syndrome. I, th yeah, and Katr Katrina is also also has pink hair in her uh, profile picture. <laughs> still, still your tongue, Isaiah. Lazy town, lazy town happened to the girl in lazy town. Oh, I guess that is a pretty unfortunate thing to happen. Just then, the thought I was beginning to win Shane over. Is this how he truly felt about me? I'm heading back. But we haven't returned the uniform yet. I stepped past her, walking as quickly as I could back to down the You guys didn't give him the, the frick! You went all the way to give him in the uniform and you didn't? What the flip? Hana, see this is why no one likes you. This is why I don't trust people with pink hair. Jeff trusted you for one very small, simple little task and you couldn't even complete that. <sighs> I kicked off my shoes and set my backpack down on my desk, passing the mirror. I paused as I did so, turning to the mirror, evaluating myself on my whole new level. So much grief. My hair had caused me so much grief over the course of my life. And now, for some reason, th Shane thought I was suspicious. No! Shane thinks you're suspicious because he saw you two meddling through the normal boots that you were not allowed to do. And he's being a nice guy by not ratting you out to the rest of them. I soothed my hair with my hands, the shortness of it catching me by surprise. It was softer when it was longer. Oh, the hardness. The wait, shortness? Oh, whatever. Was it shorter? It was softer. Okay. With a sigh, I turned away and collapsed onto my bed, hugging Mr. Bunny to my chest. Should I dye my hair, Mr. Bunny? I raised him up, staring into his glassy eyes. Yeah, you're right. I rolled on my side, squeezing Mr. Bunny to my chest. <clears throat> Satch said it himself. You don't choose your natural hair color. Mr. Bunny was small against me, and I smiled at him. At least he liked me. Ah, uh, no, well, technically it's like a Stockholm Syndrome. You have him captive. You don't have any freedom, so he's become to rely on you. He doesn't really like you. You've just psychologically manipulated into it, so... You know, there is that to consider, Hannah. 
<clears throat> Shaking my head, I went to my desk. I had better things to do than mope. <clears throat> You're still studying, Hama? I took my headphones out of my ears and turned to May. Our plans for that evening were postponed, and I silently thanked her for not pushing me to keep to keep them. I wasn't in the mood anymore. Yeah, it's only been a few hours. You haven't moved since I left the room last. She climbed in her bed and, and dangled her hands off the side. At least take a break, okay? You know what? Hannah didn't accept the job. Mai did. And I don't know... Did it say that Mai came with me? I think... Uh, maybe maybe the, the uniform did get returned to Pubaga in the end. Uh, well, I have been meaning to return this book I checked out. It was overdue, and I and I had to do it at some point. I was going to do it today, but after what happened, what after what happened, the last thing I wanted to do, that was the last thing I wanted. That didn't make me any less overdue, though. Hey, Satch is someone who stood up to defend you, so you know, go ahead, go do that. Meet me at dinner afterwards. If you're gonna spend the rest of your life studying, at least be nutritionalized. I, str I stretch, bending backwards to apologize for the hours of arching over a desk. I would have been a hunchback at the end of my school career. I was sure of it. You're right. I'll go. See you at dinner. It was pretty late when I got to the library. Nobody <clears throat> came at this time, unless there was a term paper due. But since it was relatively early in the year, the room was barren. Satch was working at his desk, as I expected. But he was joined by PBG and Paul. As soon as I saw them, I turned around, trying to back out, but... Hey, Hannah! Unfortunately, my hair also made me stick out like a sore thumb. I reluctantly joined them in that at that corner. What's up? Not much. I'm taking a study break to return the book I checked out. I took the book out of my bag and handed it to Satch. That book, I can't help but notice you were reading The Princess Betrothed. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I never would have read it without Satch's suggestion, so I have to thank him. He nodded and put the book on the to be sorted shelf. No problem. I didn't work in the library for nothing. I have another suggestion for you if you need one. No thanks, I want to get back to those dorms. Oh come on, it's almost dinner. Let him check out this great book for you. Then we can go to the cafeteria together. Hana, take him up on it. Well, well all right. <laughs> don't twist my arm, why don't you? Oh, who's leaving? Oh, Katrinas? I'm glad you were able to stop in and <laughs> say how many times you were attracted to Mai. It, it, it was an honor serving with you. Satch uploaded something recently? Holy crap. That doesn't sound right. Like, like recently, do you mean like... Uh, six weeks ago? Nah. Noth nothing recently. You lied to me, Alan. <laughs> Unless by recently you mean six months, which for him... I, seriously, how is he in Normal Boots Club? He doesn't upload anything. That was the last thing I wanted to do, but I was really bad at showing the people that I didn't want to talk. Follow me to the fiction section. We set off through the library on an epic quest for adventure and fortune. My mind raced, trying to think of a good excuse so I didn't have to follow them to the cafeteria. Here it is, the Banana Club. He pulled a bright yellow book off the shelves. The Banana Club was written across it in, in a bold font. <coughs> Now, I know it sounds stupid, and it looks kind of stupid, honestly, but trust me, it's one of the most moving books you'll ever read. Well, if you insist, country, Christian country boy. Oh, wait, 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 wait where's my string? It should have been right there. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's, that took me out of my channel. I'm trying to get to the string. We gotta... You gotta go to Christian Country Boy's channel. It's not, it's not taking me there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. There we go. 
I, I, ah, there, there we go. You got four videos. You got chickens, you got Jesus, you got uh, an uploaded version of a pretty awesome Johnny Cash song, and another, another uh, Christian song. All right, we have, we've looked at your channel. <laughs> uh, back to Awesome Cow. <clears throat> now, I know it sounds stupid. Okay, yeah, 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 we read, we read that line already. He uploaded something four days ago. Am I not? I might have unsubscribed to him because he doesn't upload at all. I'll unsubscribed. Wait, what? Oh, that mixtape. That was from him. I thought that was like from Moose 2 or something. It didn't look very interesting, so I didn't really check it out. But yeah, see? Three months ago was the time he loaded something before that. I thought it was a month and a half. No, it was... It was way long ago. All right, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I impute on your honor, Alan. You were right, and I was wrong, and I, I, I said you weren't. I, I am, I'm a fiend. Okay. The ending crushed me. He put a fist into his mouth and blinked rapidly. <laughs> Don't cry now, Sedge. Not in front of her. I'm gonna stop before I spoil everything. He handed me the book, and I, and I gazed blankly at the cover. Thanks, Satch! And, uh, Hannah? Huh? Are you alright? You don't look very well. It wasn't really. I wasn't really. But of course, there was no way I was. I wasn't really, but there was no way I was gonna tell Satch that I eavesdropped on their private conversation. Oh, you know, I just heard that you were the only one who stood up for me at that meeting. I conjured a fake cock. cough. It sounded pathetic. Anybody else read any good smut lately? Guys, we're playing Asagao Academy. It doesn't get any better than this shadow sight. I think I'm gonna skip out on dinner too. I'm not feeling well enough. Satch narrowed his eyes and nodded. If you say so, do you still want to read this book? Yes, I do. Your suggestion your suggestions haven't failed me so far. Okay, let me check it out to you real quick so you can get back and rest. When we got back, Pepega and Paul were on the opposite side of the room. Paul was waving, wait, uh, waving a book vehemently at PBG. Satch stepped out from behind the counter and grabbed my book. You know, if something's bothering you, or you're still getting used to the school. We're all here to talk to. I know. No, you don't. You don't trust them because you didn't listen to an entire conversation. Transfers have it the hardest around here. Everyone knows that. I nodded. He passed the book to me, and I put it in my backpack. Oh, wow, Ryan Casey getting spicy. Did I call you selfish? I, I, one thing that I don't like is when people upload songs to YouTube, you know, and... Oh, that's about... Oh, that's a song sung from the point of Jesus, not Johnny Cash. I thought that Johnny Cash realized that he was so prophetic that he would never, no one would ever forget his music. But yeah, I guess it was about Jesus. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the song's already on YouTube. I don't know why you upload it. Who's leaving? Is it Owl? <laughs> Isaiah's had enough. He can't take it anymore. He's gotta go. He, he, enough of the weeaboo trash. Just, don't be a stranger, all right? I won't. Thanks, Satch. I'll see you tomorrow. I waved goodbye to him, and I made my way back to the dorm. Somehow, Satch always knew when I was upset and how to make me feel better. It helped that Paul and PBG weren't acting any differently than normal. <laughs> either. Maybe it really was just a problem with Shane. Whatever the problem was. Anna. Hannah. He said it right, and I immediately threw it back in his face. The stream is offline? Hold on. It says we're on air. 
Is it? The stream's off air, I'll fix it, but... Okay, I'm watching right now, and it... The stream looks significantly, uh, not offline. Back up to your old tricks, Alan. Maybe it's offline for you, but as I can clearly see, the stream is significantly less online. You see? Water's got it. Yeah, you just had to restart it, that's all. Alright, now I better leave this because this is going to clog up the internet even more. So, but there we go. Back to Emerald Ninja's favorite game in the entire world. Asagawa Academy. John says, Hana. Immediately ch says, Hannah. I looked up from... John was standing in front of the desk, eyes glittering. Yes? Ugh. I need you to be in my play. Please, Hana. Uh. John grabbed my shoulders, his arms shaking me so much that I felt like I was vibrating. The Drama Club, our play this year. We're doing Romeo and Juliet. I've been thinking about it for so long, and I... I couldn't have just anyone, and I wasn't finding anyone to fit my particular needs. But then you come along. I've been watching you. I'm sure you can do it. <clears throat> Please, Hannah. I need you. Only you. Did he want me to be Juliet? At least come see what I've been working on. Please, Hannah. Well, I'm not going for the John route. The only thing I want is Jared Coon, so... I don't know. I'm not really the acting type. I can do shy, and I'm... And, and no one would want to watch, want to watch me. John looked at me like I had just kicked Jacques in the face. He's the Nero that Rome deserves. I actually went to a pretty cool thing yesterday. It was... Like, a huge display on Rome. It was a museum, a traveling museum thing that stays for uh, museums for a few months at a time, and it was all about Rome. So it, it, was, it, was, pre it was pretty cool. Uh, but uh, I can at least come and see what you want me to do. Awesome! This will be great. Meet me after school in the theater. I got everything prepared to you. Yeah, great. Well, now that that's settled, come on, Hana, let's go get lunch! He hustled out of the room with it, with bird-like grace. I s started after him. It was like, it was a whirlwind that just left. He honestly reminded me a lot of mine. You're coming, Hana. He poked his head around the corner. Y yeah He might have been spending too much time with that bird. Man, that test today was totally brutal. I totally bombed it. I failed miserably. PBG held up his paper. There was a big fat red F at the top. Jean winced and slowly raised his own final exam. The two laughed and high five. Yeah, we're gonna fail out of high school. <laughs> hey, it's Absol Night. Gerard and I did wonderfully. Most of our homework did. Maybe your teacher teaches differently? Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> nope, I got an 89, so it's not Miss Shiazuka. Those two are just massive idiots. I nodded. I didn't feel like admitting my 93, not after seeing how badly John and PBG did. Awesome. Wow, that's awesome, Shane. It's like you just... It's like your mind is just made for facts. You totally deserve it. Did you get your... You're 97 raised, Gerard? That's not like you at all, Gerard. Gerard laughed sheepishly. Complete. Yep. I got 100%. Let's hear him say completed again. Completed. Yep, got 100%. He completed it. To be fair, I would have gotten 100 like normal, but one of the questions could be answered in two ways. So I told the teacher, and he changed my score accordingly. I think I got a, I think I got a couple of points, too. Satch. 
Am I already on 58 minutes? I've been going for an hour. It's not 58 minutes. Of course, maybe you're talking about something else. I'm not paying 100% attention to the uh, chat because I'm playing Asagal Academy. You had to have 100%, didn't you? Did you get a completion bonus? <laughs> I take a lot of crap from you guys. That's more than enough to make it worth it. I smiled alongside them, feeling somewhat out of my element. Shane's comments hung over my head mind now. But I didn't think there was much I could do about it. Before class, I filled my on, my on, and John's proposition. I think I'm kind of worried about it. What? Are you kidding, Hana? He wants you to be Juliet. And he'll be Romeo. Oh, that's so romantic. <clears throat> He's totally hitting on you. I don't know, Maya. <clears throat> I'm really not an actress. I'm really bad at the limelight. <clears throat> There's no way he would have known. He would have noticed that. And I doubt he's hitting on me either. <gasps> Hannah, get a grip on yourself. You're one of the nicest people I've ever met. Any guy would be lucky to have you. That's why you're my best friend. I mean, why else would you make such a big deal out of it? He did seem upset. You might have a point. John is Romeo and me is Juliet. It was corny, but kind of cute. Visions of myself and John in period clothing sweeping across a stage floated through my mind. Spots lights glistening in his hair. He leaned in towards me. Ungarde! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> <coughs> uh, Romeo, my love! Juliet, this isn't how the story was supposed to go. Romeo! Whoa! Uh. <clears throat> Whoa, what's wrong? Er, nothing. Is, is class over? <laughs> yeah, you're going to the theater, right? <clears throat> After that daydream, it was like it was hardly like I had a choice. Bye. I'll see you back bye. at the dorms. Okay, bye. It's okay, Hana. You can do this. The theater is here. Whoa! Just add water. Spoilers. Tag your spoilers, man. But Ryan, Ryan, Sonic Mania is gonna be awesome, right? The, or the door opened to a gorgeous room with bright red seats. John down on the stage, flung his arms to the ceiling. Doth thou pro protest prostation relinquish my famine? My famine? Nay. Yeah. Jacques, you gotta have a little more intensity. Don't you want to be famous? Nay. Why you little? Excuse me. Anna. Hannah. His voice shot up several octaves. Come in. Come in. Come in. He leaped up the stairs, grabbed me by the hands, and pulled me into the room. I wasn't sure you were going to come. Thank you so much, Hannah. You were really the only person I could trust to do this. About that, John, I, I don't know about this. I'm not really an actress. There's no way I could be Juliet. Uh, huh. He stopped pulling me. Who said anything about Juliet? Um, um, didn't you? No. No. That wasn't the part you wanted me to, t to talk to me about? Oh, of course not. You're right. You're not suited to Juliet at all. Ouch. He ran backstage, returning with a large inflatable bag. Actually, I wanted you to be... Drum roll, please, Jacques. Da 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 da. He tossed the bag on a stage. The crumpled plastic unraveled, revealing a tree. Uh, 
Tree. You're perfect for the part. You're so shy and quiet, you have an impressive ability to stand still for long periods of time. The other day in class, you stared into space for almost 20 minutes straight and didn't move a muscle. Uh, oh. Of course. Of course, why would he want me to play a re lead role? It was obvious. I wasn't cut out for that kind of thing. Wanting to play Romeo to my Juliet? How ludicrous. What's wrong? <laughs> of course I wouldn't be able to play Juliet. No one would think I think could do that. Well, it's not that you can't. But John wasn't trying to be mean. He just didn't seem to get that it was insulting. I'll think about it, okay? But I'm going to go for now. If you say so, be sure to give me your, your answer soon. I'm ready for this. It's going to be the best play yet. Especially with Jacques. <laughs> oh! Oh, outclassed by a bird! Just another Friday night for Chad Norman! <laughs> this play's been out for hundreds of years. You think there's an expiration on uh, <laughs> spoilers? Romeo, Romeo! Why on earth are you Romeo? And it spoils itself at the beginning. Okay, we got. I gotta see if it really does. Pally. Two households, both alike in dignity. In fair Verona, where lay our scene. From ancient grudge, break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth fatal loins to these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take that. Uh, there we go. Oh, yep, yeah, you're right. You're right. Spoilers, Shakespeare. Shakespeare, you're spoiling the play. Stop doing that. You. You don't want me spoiling more of Romeo and Juliet for you. So, so, so sorry, Alan. I, I didn't mean to. I love you. Goodbye, John. See you later. See you later, Hannah. How awful was that? I shut the door to the dorm room, wanting nothing more than to collapse onto my bed. Hey, what's up? Hannah! Mai was laying on her bunk, upside down, her ha red hair spilling over the side. Something glinted in her hands. What are you doing? I'm cutting out little blossoms, see? She held a pink cherry blossom to the ceiling. I don't see you complaining about Hamilton... How, about how Hamilton spoils itself? Does it? I mean, I haven't seen Hamilton. Oh, I, I guess I guess Bird does say, "And I'm the dang fool who shot him." You're right. You're right. But we weren't talk. We were talking about Romeo and Juliet. That's why I, I. <clears throat> <gasps> what? Hamilton dies at the no. Absol Night. Don't don't say it so. <laughs> no, no, Hamilton. He was the best Lin Manuel Miranda ever. It's so your senpai will notice you. What are you even talking about? You know, senpai always notices the girl when she's outside, surrounded by a shower of cherry blossoms and petals. <clears throat> the wind blowing in her hair. Your guy will definitely notice you with these. A flash of anger ripped through me. Why don't you just save them for yourself? Jared will never notice you without them. Wow! Savage beatdown from Hana! I turned on my heel and st stalked out of the room. Why the foot Was it because of stuff like that, John? I thought... Holy cow! Why did... That was so out of character! That was so savage! Oh, okay! I stepped in the front of Poppy Hall. The crisp evening air wafting against my face, cooling my skin. A faint... This tinge of smoke threaded its way into my hair, reminding me of the days I spent cooking with my father. How stupid. 
Hey, do you realize what you just said to your best friend in the whole world, Hana? Wow! I headed for the field, my stomach sinking with every step. I shouldn't have stabbed it by- You think? None of this was her fault. And she was being so nice to me, and I said that awful thing to her. She was never going to want to be my friend again. I stopped at the tree, leaned against it. The sun was rapidly setting, the night air growing colder and colder. Although I was shivering, I didn't want to go back inside. There was no way I could face Mai after what happened. What a terrible person I was. I sat down, hugged my knees, pressed my head into my arms, and I, I stayed that way for a long time, trying not to pay attention to what was going through my head. The wind picked up, roaring past me, whipping my hair against my skin. It was so loud I didn't hear the footsteps until they were right next to me. I looked up. My, I am so sorry. I shouldn't have snapped at you. I was just upset because I thought John wanted me Juliet, but it turns out he wants me to be a tree. I shouldn't care so much. I'm just an awful person. <laughs> My let out a peal of laughter. That John, he doesn't mean anything by it. But that is something he would do. He's nice, but he can be a little clueless sometimes. She sat next to me and wrapped her arm around my shoulders. Together we huddled against the rough bark of the oak tree, somewhat sheltered from the wind. Oh, where's Katrina's when you need her? Her All her dreams are coming true. You remember what Shane said about my hair? Mai's arm tightened around me. I've been on edge ever since. I don't know how to face them. Even when they're being nice, I'm so afraid they hate me. I'm such a coward. Well, it's okay. We're all cowards sometimes. Maybe we should just approach our problems directly instead of coming at them from the side with flowers and friendship. You want me to You want to join the Normal Boots Club, don't you? Yes. Well, I want to date Jared. Get in line, May. My whatever. Neither of those will happen if we keep avoiding the stuff that makes us nervous. Yeah. If we want something, we should go get it, shouldn't we? We shouldn't look just because we're used to waiting for things to happen to us. Doesn't mean that they're going to if we just if we're just patient enough. Hana, if you want to join the normal boots club, you have to keep moving forwardly, forward strongly without fear, without looking back, right? Hannah was stumped. <laughs> yeah. And the same goes for you, Mai. Yeah, it does. I rested my he head on my May's shoulder. Thankful she was taller than me. My paltry 5'2". She lay her head on top of my own. Yeah. I think I'm going to try harder. Nothing good came of avoiding my problems. And being a coward. I can't keep running away. Or else, eventually, I'm going to run out of places to go, and then I'll break. If I really want to make a new life at Asagao, I have to try. Seriously. Wait, 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 what's she saying? Seriously. Seriously. I'm going to be my best self, and I'm going to be myself, and I'm going to actually try. Who knows, maybe Shane will warm up to me eventually. May pulled me in closer for a hug. That's the spirit. Now, what do you say we get inside? It's freezing. Yes, let's, and thank you, Mai. Mai smiled at me. No, thank you. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Mm. We're, back. We're back to the chip tune. Quickly, there's only two minutes left. Giant yellow letters of bloom across my, school my phone screen, blocking several falling cubes and preventing me from making more combos and deploying more troops. Curses, get out of the way! Small yellow plush with a great smiley face waved a sword. A big bad giant came rushing out from the castle. Smiley man, so we meet again. What are you doing? Ah! You lose. I thought I had two minutes left. <clears throat> ah, no! 
Oops, sorry. Ian, the brutal moose of yore stood over my shoulders, peering at my phone. <clears throat> what do you want? Yeesh, touchy, aren't we? <laughs> what are you doing playing such a boring game anyway? Nothing. I was just waiting for Maine. and I was bored. <clears throat> Tell the truth, I was practicing. <clears throat> that game's similar to the one that's going to be in the tournament, right? You lost pretty quickly. It doesn't seem like you're any good. He looked at my phone again and froze. I glanced back at the screen. My sore score was still slowly totaling, speeding over the 100,000 range. Holy crap, how did you do that? Do what? Your score! That's, that's incredible! How long have you been playing this game? I've never seen Ian so animated. If you asked me, he... I would say he almost cared about what was happening. Why the deep voice? I'm... Because you were in, in, in Sans. I thought I was supposed to read it like Sans from Undertale. <laughs> oh! First off, just add water. Watch your mouth. Second off, this isn't Hidden Block Club, so he's not even a choice. Oh, 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 oh. He put his hand to his chin and thought, If you're this good at this game, you might be able to learn to play the game for the tournament. What are you suggesting? He glared at me. We both know you'd love to join the Normal Boots Club, and they need someone to fill in for the puzzle games during the tournament. You need to join the team. I gazed at him, trying to read his face. Could he be... pulling my leg? It was possible that I was actually much much worse than average, and he wanted me to join the team to draw, drag down their score. A dirty move, but I wasn't sure that Ian wouldn't do, do it if given the chance. Ian sighed. Look, at least give it some thought. That was impressive, and I wouldn't mind having some competition for once. He turned on his heel and ambled to his seat. What was that about? I told her what happened. Really? really? He thinks you have what it takes? That would be awesome, wouldn't it, Hana? Isn't this exactly what you wanted? I guess. Not everyone's so enthusiastic about me having me on the team, though. Shane's glaring face passed through my mind. I'm sure if you proved yourself, it would be alright. What are you gonna do? Gotta, gotta leave it up to you guys again. Ba 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 ba. What, 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 what do we got? I'm, I'm not sure. I'd like to try. Gotta, gotta, gotta put that ellipses. I'd like to. Try and ba -ba -ba -ba. all right. I leave it in the stream's highly capable hands of what I should say. Mary Jolteon. Oh, I'm sorry, Christian. I mean, I mean, not the the one with the chickens isn't reposting songs. I mean, look, look, that's that's just that's just how I feel. Like, if the song's already on YouTube, why are you why are you uploading it again? I mean, I actually it's probably claimed by Johnny Cash's estate, so he probably is it it probably is being profited by it. I, I don't know, it's just... Okay, so I gotta try. Alright, looks like the, it looks like the votes want me to try. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I said that. Christian country boy. I, I, I just kind of instantly said what I thought without even checking it out, really. Alright, looks like we're gonna try. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I'd like to try. Even if I fail... I'm gonna work hard and give it my best. 
And maybe I can even make Shane and the others accept me. Not that there's time for me to sit around and wonder what else I can do. Yeah there's my girl. Oh, Hana, you're catapulting through the sky like a shooting star. Bless. And what are you going to do next? Talk to them? An image of myself going head to head with Shane flickered through my mind. Uh, maybe not just yet. Sensing my unease, Mai shrugged. Well, don't worry about it too much. Ian's part of Hidden Block, after all. It wouldn't help to have him... Have... Help him to have competition. And besides... Miss Shiazuga stalked in, looking furious. Turn to page 394. And that was the end of that. Finally, class was over. I gathered my bags as, as Mai joined me. She headed to the door. Hana? Oh, Hana is, is from Shane. Shane stood before me, shifting from foot to foot. Can I speak to you? A lump formed in my throat. What did he want now? Sure, Mai, go on ahead. If you say so. With a worried tone in her voice, May left us alone. Shane waved me out of the classroom and took and into a nook at the to the next window. It came to my attention that I perhaps said something that per perhaps I should not have said. And perchance I may have possibly bothered you in such a fashion that my words, the words that I said. I'm sorry? The hair thing. <laughs> yes, exactly. What can I say except I'm sorry? What? Well. I'm sorry for what I said about your hair. My heart skipped a beat. H how did you know I heard that? May. She came into my room last night and tore off my ear. Oh, May. My chagrin turned into gratefulness. How many other girls would, would go to the most popular guys in school and chew him out because he was mean to her friend? Especially when I wasn't even supposed to hear it. I hope you can forgive me? A weight lifted from my shoulders. Oh, no! I I'm really happy! Thank you so much for apologizing to me! To be honest, I've been worried about this for a while now, so I'm glad that you've changed your mind. I didn't say that. I deflated. Look, it's not really about you. Or in a way, but you can't, you can't really be, you can't really help that. John Tron is usually best girl. I'm getting copyrighted? What am what am I getting copyrighted for? I didn't do nothing. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Never mind. Look, y you have to come with me. I have a surprise. Following Shane around was not something I would like particularly to do, especially considering what just happened. But yeah, okay. Shane grabbed my wrist and led me down the hallway. I probably could have followed him with just well without him needing to do that, but there were worse things in this world. Before long, we wound up in front of the normal boots club room. What is this? Without saying a word, Shane opened the door and led me in. Inside, the entirety of normal boots is waiting, along with a sullen-faced Ian. Bye. Well, looks like my work is done. Goodbye. <laughs> he brushed past me and PBG began to laugh. Thanks, man. See you in the tournament. So, Hana, I bet you're wondering why Mr. Stoic brought you here. Oh, uh, yeah, a bit. As you know, there is a tournament that happens each year early in the spring. The tournament is in about a month and a half. We each compete in various events. It used to be an easy win, but with Hidden Block around, things have changed. We want to keep our competitive edge. Something happened last year that made it so we no longer have someone competing in the puzzle category. I stand by my decision. So we need some people to take John's place. I don't understand. 
We all have different categories we're entering into, and half of us have jobs or other clubs that we're busy with, so we can't exactly take on more. For example, I compete in the innovation and game design category. I play retro games, get a higher score than my fellow by the end of the level, that kind of thing. I play pinball on the machines and the, the arcade provides. It would be the same thing, really. Shane does Mario Kart racing and, or at least he will this year, I do, I do speed runs and gather, I gather and accomplish everything in the game as fast as possible. It's just as draining as it sounds. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting a little tired too. Uh, we'll probably call it quits after this scene. We can beat in tag teams, 80s and 90s arcade beat 'em's up. Specific, I know. And I, I dance. DDR, baby. We each have our own fields and can't take take time to learn a new one. So. So Ian told us how good you are at Dumble Doom's Revenge. He suggested that you enter the tournament as a normal of the mem really? normal boots clubs. He, really? Why on earth would he do that? I think my Twitter handle is Heman at Heman Gaming. Mario Kart is best game. I like Mario Kart Eight. He's won the event every year. He's gone to school in this district. He wants a little challenge this time around. Just because we're rivals doesn't mean we're not friends. Anyways, we voted on whether you should join the club and... Well, long story short, we've got a compromise. You enter the tournament, and if you win, you get to no join the Normal Boots Club. If you lose, well, you don't have what it takes. What do you say? I... This was amazing! It was exactly what I wanted! This was my chance. I, don't know. I wish Mario Kart didn't rip off Mario Kart. Yeah, seriously, Miyamoto, what are you, what are you trying to pull? I, I, I don't know. If I lost, it didn't mean that I wouldn't lose their friendship, too. I'd be a laughing stock, and I'd be left alone again. Hannah. Why? You should accept! But, where did you even come from? Don't you remember what you told me? No more giving up. Joss at the Disco is now following you. Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm gonna try. And that was how I got the opportunity to join the Normal Boots Club. That is an excellent ending point. Bada bing. Daisy. All right. Oh, you know what? I think next time the uh, flower festival will finally be. And hopefully I've made the right choices to get Jared Coon. All right. Well, it's been real and it's been good. Thanks for coming along, everyone. I will see you next week.